insurance policy is one way to put That's it. That's right. Yeah. I love that because so many of us are reactionary and we don't think ahead. And this woman is thinking ahead and clearly she has the money to do it. So Right there in her garage. She just gets in. Boom. So. Uh, Joseph, what a week we've had. And now we're the there's a light at the end of the tunnel. That's right. It's going to get <laughs> so nice out yep. as we go into next week. We just got to get through some clouds right now mm -hmm. and a little bit of rain. But beyond that, it's going to be really nice for especially Father's Day. Look at this. 69 degrees in Portland. 80 down at Monmouth where temperatures have warmed up. 71 for Skamania on the coast at 58. The common theme, though, for this evening is now the clouds that have rolled on in. And they've started from the Pacific Northwest there in the northwest section of the state and then slowly made their way eastward. So if you're east of the Cascades right now, likely still some uh, sun Sunshine for you folks. 69 in Vancouver, 75 for Salem, 59 for Astoria, Newport at 59. We had some sun breaks this afternoon. It wasn't too bad of a Saturday, but now the clouds have kind of rolled in in full force. Redmond at 79 there for Central Oregon. Let's take you through the evening hours. I don't expect any precipitation. If you do, it's going to be a quick, light precipitation. It's going to be pretty much just cloudy, mainly dry temperatures uh, flirting around around the upper 60s to the lower 70s. We get through the evening hours, temperatures down to the lower 60s, some overnight cloud coverage, and that will kind of continue into tomorrow morning, too. So some of this green, the precipitation that's coming up on the satellite and radar, isn't completely falling down to the surface, although we do have some moisture moving in, we'll likely just see a lot of cloud coverage here here for us here in Portland up towards Vancouver. So you can see the stream of moisture right there. It's battling with some high pressure to the south, which is also going to dry things out. So again, not a lot of heavy precipitation here. You can see this with our water vapor. So this green area is showing the moisture. This brown is showing some drier air coming in, and that's where that high pressure is. So it's going to interact with this stream here, and it's going to dry us up by the time we get into tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon, which means it's going to be a wonderful Father's Day. Let me take you through the hour by hour forecast. We have still showing a little bit of precipitation by midnight. And again, we could see a few drops here in Portland, but I don't expect a lot of heavy rain. Still clouds come tomorrow morning. So here's Sunday at 9 a.m. If you may be going for a walk, you maybe promised dad to go for a walk, something like that in the morning hours. Just watch out for some clouds, maybe a little bit of precipitation there along the coast. Dries up rather fast as we get into the afternoon. I think uh, the sun shines here probably about midday to 3 o'clock. Maybe some lingering moisture but it pushes back towards the Pacific by the time we get to our Monday. High pressure starts taking over, and I expect us to see some really sunny conditions for the start of our work week. Maybe a little cloudy along the coast, but the rest of us are going to be looking really good. So for your Father's Day forecast, temperatures are going to be warming up to the lower 80s tomorrow, so probably about 10 degrees warmer than where we topped off today. Uh, partly sunny by the time we get into the afternoon. We'll just have to see uh, for some clouds in the morning. So here's our Sunday for the coast. Temperatures in the 60s, some isolated showers hours in the morning. It dries up by the afternoon. You should get some sun breaks in there. Partly sunny here for us. Temperature is warming up to the lower 80s to the upper 70s. A really nice Sunday above average on the east side of the state. Central Oregon, really nice. Temperatures uh, flourishing into the upper 80s. A lot of sunshine for you folks. 80s through the gorge and for your government camp. Temperatures right around 74 degrees. Still three days until our official summer solstice. Our average temperature then is uh, right around 74 degrees. That's going to come Tuesday night, so still not officially summer for us, although it's going to feel like it probably uh, as we go into our Monday afternoon, because look at this. Temperatures warming up to about 86 degrees for our Monday. And then we have this picture-perfect seven-day forecast. That's the light at the end of the tunnel that Eileen was talking about. Look at this. I mean, if you have hiking plans, it's going to be perfect conditions for that. If you have camping plans, it's going to be perfect conditions for that. So just all the good outdoor stuff that you have uh, coming up. Mm. Wonderful seven day forecast. My goodness, yeah. that could not be more perfect. And you know, this is like, sometimes we go straight from winter straight to summer where yeah. you don't get that transition weather. Right. We are going to get it this week and it's going to be wonderful. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, Joseph, thank you. No problem.